This is Farm 8, a part of the Sagittan Banana Farm owned by Tony Zabane, who has been in the banana business for almost 50 years. And among the plots of thousands of these banana plants are two special acres of bananas. This particular crop was planted in July of last year. If you look closely and compare this plot to others on the farm, it is very likely that you won't see any major physical differences. But these 337 plants mark a historic achievement in the history of Belize's banana industry. And that's because these plants are grown right here in Belize. These are just shy of a week or two to be harvested. An industry expert and chairman of the Banana Growers Association, Tony Zabani, says he's impressed. I must need to say that um, comparatively with the um, Galitech that we import from Honduras, we did a neighboring sample of two acres of Galitech and two acres of the Belize UB bananas. And, um, very, very little difference right now. And this is the first um, stem that is produced from the UB. With the UB bananas, um, to me, they have impressed me because they didn't get the right seed material to start their nurseries and to give me this type of stem. Comparing this, but right down the road, where I have another two acres of the imported banana, it's a little, little, in fact, these produced before those, two weeks before. But again, these produce a hundred or two less than those. Having a little stem like this, that will give me um, close to a box of bananas. I, I could see um, us keeping our money at home. Last year, the team at UB Central Farm Campus took donor plants from the industry and put them through a process called micropropagation. It's where the stock is rapidly multiplied to produce a large number of small plants in a laboratory. Zoe Zatina of UB explains that while this trial plot of bananas is comparable to imported varieties, they weren't as selective in the mother plants and so they expect to have better quality the next time around. Trying to make sure that we maintain quality of the, of the original banana plant. So what you are seeing here today is the results of that. So in Central Farm we micro-propagate and then harden and the Banana Growers Association planted them here on the farm. As you can see or you might have seen, there isn't much difference between the banana plants that were micropropagated in UB Central Farm and those that were imported from Galitech in Honduras. Um, one of the limitations that we had was that at the start of this process, we didn't collect the best donor plants. So you might have heard that our plants are doing a little less well than the Galitech plants and that has to do with the donor plants that we um, collected. So this two-acre plot is a test to see how these plants that were micropropagated in Belize stack up against the imported ones. They were planted at the same time and under the same conditions. The UB Central Farm Laboratory received funding through a project from the Inter-American Institute of Cooperation of Agriculture. More than $200,000 were invested in this lab to help make this a reality for the banana industry. We want to evaluate um, the varieties of the meristems and the, where they come from. Um, basically, we have two varieties in this demonstration plot. We have Granine and um, Williams, but basically they come from two labs. We have the University of Belize Micropropagation Laboratory and we have the Galitech um, Tissue Culture Lab from Honduras. Um, here we are celebrating a success story because we have um, We'll harvest next week the first bunches of banana which are totally made in Belize. And while these plants may not have come from superior stock, after banana farm manager Danny Salguero inspected them, he says that he's happy with what he has seen and he expects to plant some on the farm that he manages. I've been telling the, the co-workers who are here that uh, I am very impressed to see that plants, national plants, uh, are developing so good and I've not been looking just to the plant itself I've been looking after the fruit 
and it looks very good quality, high quality. And uh, I don't see any difference between um, plants that come from laboratories from Costa Rica or Honduras in terms of the plant condition. I think Belize is able to do it and I hope they continue doing it. As a farm manager, do you think the the owner of your farm would be interested eventually if, if UB is able to supply to have some of the, the plants that are from here? This morning I sent him a text saying that I would like to try 5,000 plants at the farm. And uh, he is Belizean, of course he would like to, to, you know, cooperate with the university and also show the world that Belize is able to, to, to produce good and high quality plants. And so today farmers and representatives of the Belize Growers Association are touring Farm 8 to see the bananas for themselves. Gomez says that while this is only a test, it sends a strong and positive message for the industry. This has been shown to the farmers that it's workable and we can minimize the risk of disease within the industry and we can minimize logistics because presently all banana are imported um, for it to be grown in Belize but they know how they can obtain it from the University of Belize micropropagation lab and minimize all the logistics of importing um, Baja inspection port fees so the cost is minimized also. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.